All right, I'm standing here with 2007 Johnny Bench Award winner Ed Easley. Ed, talk to the fans. For the fans that don't know what you've been up to, give us a little rundown. You were with Arizona, now you're with the St. Louis organization. Tell the fans what you've been up to lately. Well, this is my seventh season in pro baseball. I can't believe it. I was just talking to Coach Dry. I started out here at Mississippi State 10 years ago. Uh, so looking back, you know, a lot of great memories, but I'm still fighting to get to the big leagues. I've been fortunate to play in AAA the past couple years. I uh, just finished my career with Arizona Diamondbacks throughout the minor leagues and became a free agent and just signed a contract with the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, heading down to spring training next week, actually, to Jupiter, Florida, going to Major League Spring Training and, and learning from the best as Yadier Molina and Mike Matheny, those guys who run that organization down there. As you know, uh, I look forward to learning from those guys. And, and the plan is to kind of start in AAA, which is the Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis uh, Redbirds, which is my hometown. So I'm excited about that opportunity and hoping to get a shot to get called to St. Louis one day. You know, Memphis is your hometown. The Redbirds, very, very good Bulldog fan base in Memphis. Are you excited that you might see some Mississippi State fans at, at your home games up there if that's where you end up? Yeah, of course, you know. It's always nice to walk up to the plate or be on deck and hear some guys, you know, yelling uh, the Bulldog uh, out to me. So, you know, I played in Pearl, Mississippi the past few years with the AA team. And, uh, you know, always good to see a Bulldog crowd there. So I am. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some Bulldogs. And, and uh, not only that, but just friends and family that can uh, have a short drive to the ballpark and come see me play. A couple of weeks away from spring training, yet you find yourself in Starkville, Mississippi. What is it about this program? What is it about Coach Cohen? What is it about this town that brings all the big leaguers, all the pro baseball players back here in the offseason? He's just very welcoming. Even though I wasn't one of the players that got opportunity for, for, to play for Coach Cohen, uh, he's just you know very inviting back. If we ever need anything, just tells us to let him know. And, and the facilities are great. You know, I'm a couple hours from my home. I always try to get back here a couple of times before I head down to spring training and get an opportunity to take some swings and, and uh, work with some of the coaches and just talk to the guys and be around the program to help me become who I am today. So that's what it's all about, and I hope one day I'm able to, to make it big and give back like some of my other buddies have, and that's what I'm working for. You know, obviously we, we had a pretty successful season last season. You know some of the guys on the team. What's the 2014 outlook in your mind for this ball club here in Starkville? I'm excited. You know, I, I, I remember last season playing uh, some, some minor league games and, and pulling up the computer and watching these guys who I've, I've never played with, but just have, have, have had the opportunity to watch over the past few years. And even though they lost some of their key players, as y'all know, I'm excited about this year. And I, I Coach Cohen and the rest of the staff has done a great job to develop these guys and, and the great ball players. So I'm excited to, for this 2014 season. Final question, what does being a Mississippi State Bulldog mean to you? And what do you miss most about being a Bulldog? It's great. Great baseball tradition looking back. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Getting an opportunity to win an SEC championship, uh, being ranked number one in the country at one time, going to the World Series in 2007, and not only the, the success baseball-wise, but the friendships I've made with my teammates over the past few years and have kept. And, you know, I, The reason I'm here today is I just met up with Chad Crosswhite in Philadelphia, Mississippi, and me and him hung out for the weekend. And, you know, It's all about friendships and who you've met over the past and keeping that alive. Thank you so much, sir.